Hi there, I just wanted to make a quick update with the TI programmer and its battery which is uh, falling apart and uh, leaking and uh, well I wanted to say that I bought some new batteries from IKEA we say IKEA, you say IKEA maybe um, Lada, that's the name it's Swedish and it means charging or charge. Um, and the interesting part about these uh, lot of batteries is they are made in Japan. Hecha in Japan. They are obviously imported via Mexico. Don't know why. From Japan to Mexico to Switzerland to everywhere. Uh, but that indicates that these batteries are probably or most likely uh, rebranded Eneloop batteries from uh, Panasonic. And in fact, uh, they are pretty good. They come uh, pre charged and, uh, well, they fit exactly into the old casing. They seem to be a little bit bigger. Well, mm, maybe not. No, it's almost the same. It's just a different color. Looks different. So they should go in here like so. Yes, that looks. Uh, I think there. No, no, that's that's the cable here. No, it fits perfectly. Okay, let's weld them together. And for that I have this tiny little portable battery welder here. Let's set it to level 4. That's the best one for batteries like that. At least in, on my uh, device here. Let me see, we need some uh, nickel strips. So that would be a good size here. Uh, by the way, these are old nickel strips from other battery packs. Sometimes they are pretty long. They make a good material for creating new battery packs. So we need two batteries in series. I think I first will glue them together with hot glue. Okay, I already hot glued them together. You can see that here. Pretty simple. I didn't show that on camera. I think you know how hot gluing works. Now it's time to connect these batteries here to weld them together. Oops, I'm a little bit off camera. And another one here. So that should do the job. Okay. Okay, on the other side I need a short tap because I want to solder um, the connecting wires to that and I can solder directly to a battery because that will most likely damage the battery. That's a pretty bad idea. Why is soldering bad and welding good? Welding produces a much higher temperature, of course, but it's only for a very short time, so you can already touch that. It's slightly warm, so 
uh, welding produces more heat but very short and that doesn't heat up the entire battery if you want to uh, solder a wire to it you have to heat up the solder um, the part where you solder to to at least 200 250 maybe 300 degrees celsius and that will of course heat up the entire battery here and probably melt some insulating materials inside the battery so you shouldn't solder two batteries so buy one of these they are not very uh, expensive and it works so let's go on and solder to that part here which is now separated from the battery maybe it's a little bit too long just shorten that okay and of course i already cleaned up this pcb here the voltage uh, converter uh, you may remember from the last video this track here was completely blue so i don't know what happened uh, maybe it's copper sulfate or something else that was created um, i cleaned it it looked good i tried to solder it and then uh, the copper just dissolved in the solder because it was already so thin so i had to replace it with a wire i hope you can see that and uh, i also uh, Resoldered all the solder joints here, they are, were completely corroded. It was a little bit tricky to remove that old solder, but it finally worked and the whole thing works again. So it's time to connect that to the battery. And yes, as I said in my previous video, this uh, voltage converter here is constantly powered by the batteries. It only takes a few microamps, but after a while it will drain your battery. So I could eventually install a switch, but well, I think it will survive that. And that's the original design, and that's how that how it is meant to work. So let's see if we actually have the output voltage we need. Yes, 8.05 volts, that's okay. It's even a little bit higher than the last circuit I tested. 
it's time to see if it actually works in the calculator so I will connect that like so put that in yes it fits power on and it seems to work okay thanks for watching Thank you.